In this lecture, we are going to talk about schedule log. Schedule log is one of the important things in Primavera P6 scheduling. Every project is accompanied by its schedule log. Whenever we schedule a project, a new schedule log is created along with the project. Or sometimes you may get a project from some other planner or scheduler and you want to check it. You will get a lot of information about the project or the schedule from its log. To check the schedule log, we go to the schedule option here and it opens the schedule window. Here you can click the view log button to view the log. But before that, we need to select the check button here log to file and save this log in the destination we want it to save. Once we have selected the destination or the folder where we want to save this log and we have checked the file log to file, then we will schedule our project which is open or any schedule for which you want to check its log. Once we have scheduled the project, we'll again go to the schedule option and click view log here. It opens a file in the notepad or text file which gives a lot of information about the project. The main information you should be concerned with in the schedule log is the scheduling or leveling settings. For example, if resource leveling has taken place in this project, it will tell us about that. It will also tell us about the scheduling option we have used such as retained logic or progress override. It also gives us some statistics about the project such as how many activities are present in this project, how many activities have started, how many activities are in progress or how many activities have completed. And if there are any constraints in the project, it will also tell us from here. In addition to this, it gives us errors and warnings. If there are any errors or warnings that will be present here in the log as well. It will also tell us how many activities are without predecessors, how many activities are without successors. It gives us detailed information about that along with the activity name and activity ID. It also tells us if our project has any out of sequence activities or there are any activities where actual dates are greater than data dates. So you get a whole lot of information from schedule log. It will help you to understand the health of the schedule as well, whether the schedule is correct or not, whether the scheduling options have been used properly, whether there are any constraints, whether there is any out of sequence work in the schedule. All this you will come to know from the schedule log. And in addition to this, it will also give you a list of critical activities in your project at the end. So whenever you schedule a project, you must check the schedule log or whenever you import a project from any other planner or for any project, a new schedule, you must check its log, which will give you some critical information regarding the schedule of your project.